Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you're all enjoying the summer. It is really hot over here. Like, I mean really, really hot. So yeah, if you're in the summer part of the world, I hope you're enjoying it. And I definitely hope that it's not as hot over there as it is <laughs> here. Um, so yeah, this reading today is the one that I was supposed to have posted on um, Tuesday, but I was really not able to. Life has just been crazy busy right now. Um, but yeah, so I am doing it today though, and I do still plan on posting the next one, um, next Tuesday, which is actually in like a few days. So, this reading is for divine soulmates, divine soul connections, where there is a karmic element. I do the reading as if it is the masculine who is involved in a karmic situation, most likely a romantic partner, but it definitely could be any situation or just any person in their life and it also could be that it's the feminine who is in a karmic relationship or maybe the both of you or a situation so just take the messages as they make sense for you it is general so it cannot be everybody's situation so with all of that said oh and thank you guys so much for those of you who um have been getting personal readings with me even though i have not been as consistent with the collective readings i really do appreciate it so so much Okay, so let's see what is going on with the masculines currently. What do we need to know? Okay, and we have Angel of Strength, which is a very, very positive card to get. And I do, I do actually um, feel this as well, that this is happening for the masculines, although I do feel like it is playing out in different ways. I've actually been getting the message that um, they're feeling very confident at the moment when it comes to being able to take some action on something that they have not been able to in the past. They're feeling more sure of themselves. They're building up that strength. But for some of them, that actually means having to possibly repeat a cycle. Just it's, it's more of like an energetic karmic thing where the karma needs to fully be resolved. But they're even in that particular case, they're doing this for the purpose of being able to fully close out a cycle, fully end a situation here that's in the karmic um, energy. So let's, let's get a couple more. And then for others of them, because they're not all doing that, okay? For others of them, it's just really like standing right at that exit door. Either way, they're both feeling, both, both of these groups are feeling very, very um, strong at the moment and capable, believing in themselves. bit more than what I wanted here, but that's okay. We have nostalgia, we have material world, we have communication, and we also have mute. Okay, very interesting. It's interesting to have both communication and mute. So what I'm actually getting here is that there's definitely a very, very strong um, sense of nostalgia that the masculine is currently going through um, and of course this nostalgia has to do with the feminine all right really missing you really wanting that connection just craving that connection that they had with you now what's happening is is that they're also being able to fully bring that to their material world like not just keeping it as this fantasy really wanting that to be in their 3d 3d life and what i'm also getting here is that for some of you, there may have been some communication. I mean, if I'm to take this very, very literally, there's been communication between you and the masculine to actually um, withdraw from the connection or there has been communication for there to be a separation if you're not in separation already, all right? Um, it's very, very interesting to me the way this is coming through or something along those lines or some kind of a complicated mix of interacting but also not interacting so this could be playing out in different ways for you maybe there is some kind of a communication that is not direct so it's not actually speaking maybe there has been communication even in the 5d in dreams um, through social media or just maybe just in ways that only you 
you and your masculine would know. Um, it could be a whole bunch of things. So I do feel like that is happening. But whatever the case, if there is some kind of a... Um, if, if you are the one who is deciding to keep your distance in whatever form from your masculine, I feel like this is actually something that that will serve you and will serve the connection, okay? Or has been, if maybe this is something that has already happened, okay? Because timelines can be a little bit different for everybody. So, let's get into the details here. Let's see what is their energy towards their karmic person, partner, or situation. Okay, that was way too many, so I will take the first two. And I will also get one more. Okay, so we have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords in reverse. All right, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. Also had the Page of Swords pop out, so I will keep it here. All right, so at the moment, yeah, the masculine is really working their way. They're really, like, doing things in the, the 3D. So this is actually taking physical steps towards getting themselves out of this situation. And again, I'm going, just going to repeat this one more time. For some of them, that actually means kind of like repeating a cycle or just being like, you know, I'm just going to give you an example. You know what? I'm going to, I need to make an effort um, with my karmic partner just one more time because I, I really need to just, you know, um, close this out or close that out or figure out, um, you know, certain, certain things that we don't want there to be hanging, whatever. Even if they are making another effort, it's because they just need to feel that sense of completion, okay, for some of them. So I'm not justifying it. Part of the lesson might actually be for them to realize that no, you actually don't need to do that because that just isn't going to change anything. It's not going to make it any easier. It's just for them to fully embody that lesson. All right. Um, whatever the case, I feel like, again, with the Nine of Swords being in reverse, they're feeling a lot less stressed, a lot less anxiety when it comes to actually taking those steps. Feeling like this getting untrapped finding solutions is actually something that can be real. Like there can actually be tangible solutions and ways to go about this. And I feel like this is something that they are researching at the moment, all right, with the Page of Swords, possibly even communicating about either to the karmic, to you, or even with other people. But they're researching the ways in which they can actually um, plant those seeds of coming out of something and they're just feeling a lot better about it than other times in the past where they may have thought about it or tried or just things didn't work or they were just avoiding, denying, whatever, whatever the case. So that's their general energy here towards the karmic situation. So it's actually really positive. Um, let's see what else. See what's going on in their head space or emotional space and then of course we will also look at what is coming up okay so we have the queen of wands in reverse the four of pentacles and the sun Okay, this is really, really, this is really positive. Um, so this doesn't mean that the masculines are actually um, at the moment feeling very good about the situation that they're in. It's not that at all. It's that they're feeling really good about being able to come out of it. They're feeling very strong. They're feeling like this is actually something that can be real when it comes to going after what it is that they want, going after their happiness, feeling like, you know what? I can be happy. I do deserve to be happy. And this person here that I'm with or this situation 
is it's not it. It's not my happiness. All right, Queen of Wands in reverse. And because of that, um, it almost feels like whatever this Seven of Pentacles energy is, it's, it's kind of like also trying to figure out a way to um, hold on to some of their assets. How can they hold on to whatever it is that maybe in the past they felt like they would have to lose or they would have to compromise in order to exit this connection? Now they're feeling like, you know what, I can hold on to mine. I can hold on to whatever is mine or whatever it would be fair whatever would be fair for me to hold on to. All right, whether that be some assets, whether that be their sense of whatever status they might have, or um, maybe other, maybe even other people that are involved, um, like mutual friends or family or whatever. It almost comes across as the masculine um, also thinking Thinking a little bit selfishly, but um, not necessarily in the negative way. It's more of, you know what, like, I deserve to be happy. And also being a little bit stubborn in that sense, like, headstrong. I want my happiness here, and it's not this person. Okay. If I can just get him to not sit on the cards, that would actually be great. <laughs> okay, Mannix. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to everybody. Yeah. He just wants to be petted. All right, so um, before I see if I want to clarify anything, we're going to get the masculine's energy towards their feminines. No, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> All right. never listens to me ever he's a cat cats do whatever they want to do and we just kind of need to learn to go along with that all right so masculine's energy towards their feminine So, overall here, let me just try to fix that. Okay, so this is actually very, very interesting. We have the Eight of Cups, the um, Tower in Reverse, as well as the Two of Cups in Reverse. All right, so what this is saying is that the Masculine is actually <clears throat> trying to kind of keep their emotions in check. They're trying to maintain some kind of a detachment from you and the reason why is because they are afraid of actually ruining whatever chance they feel like they might have for this love all right that's why the tower is in reverse as well as the two of cups they're afraid of they they want to avoid having some kind of a tower with you they want to avoid like just really making things worse when it comes to this connection. So we are going to clarify those, but let me get three more. We have the Ace of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, and the Emperor. Yeah, okay. So, this is interesting because I feel like, I feel like it may be playing, it's going to be playing out in different ways for, for all of you. Um, but basically, even if you are in contact, there's, the masculine is really trying to keep things together and the way that they feel like they can keep this together is by just kind of not allowing things to get out of control 
All right, the love is there. Here's that Ace of Cups. This is this is where their happiness is. This is where their love is. All right, they're feeling this for you. They're feeling a lot of emotions for you. And not only that, they're feeling like they want to be able to provide that for you as well, all right, with that Six of Pentacles. They want things to be even. They want things to be fair. All of what they're doing here is because they are, there's, they're a little bit conflicted. So I'm even getting that for some of you, especially with that tower and the Two of Cups being in reverse, I feel like there may have been some kind of, if you have been in contact, it may be that you are pulling your energy away. And even if you haven't been in contact, I feel like the feminine might be pulling his or her energy away from the masculine. And this is conflicting the masculine a lot. And because of that, the masculine is just trying to keep a balance. I feel like the masculine is trying to, in whatever way, show you that the love is there, that they still have these emotions for you, that they still have this love for you. But at the same time, they are trying to really keep themselves in check also so that they don't feel the pain as much from you. Almost like, oh, it's so hard to explain, wanting to fully avoid believing that you might be walking away for good. So whatever they're doing right now, that might seem to you to be um, either crazy or weird or just something that you can't understand, it's because they're trying to maintain this control over their own self so that they don't fully lose it. So that they don't lose their mind, so that they don't, because they cannot, they cannot fathom this idea that, you know, this Two of Cups might actually be turned in reverse and that you might walk away. And this is why I also feel like that communication as well as mute is kind of, it's like that mix of both. So really weird things happening, I feel, between the masculine and the feminine right now. Almost like, yeah, you know, this love is here, but hey, you know, let's not talk. Or I'm pulling away my energy or whatever. So let's actually just clarify a couple of these. And this is a new deck. It's the Cat Tarot by Los Carabeo and one of my really good friends and viewers <clears throat> got this for me as a gift. So thank you, thank you very, very much. I love it. It's cats. How can I not love it? <laughs> All right, so let's... Um, <clears throat> something got shifted here. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles was first. Okay. So let me just clarify that top row. For the masculine energy towards the um, karmic partner or situation. All right, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, see, so here's the thing. They don't want to go back. I feel like this came up in the last reading that I did. The, um, the Maslins do not want to go back to the situation as it was. They are not feeling that trappedness anymore. And they, it's like they're refusing to feel that again. They're feeling very confident at the moment. They're feeling very strong at the moment. They know that if they were to fully go back, it, it's kind of like it's just a trick being played on them and then falling for it. And this is what they are not allowing themselves to go back to. So let's clarify this bottom row. All right, we have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, so see, here's the thing. They, they used to feel like, you know, they want to give to this and that, you know, things might not be even. Some of them were feeling guilt. Some of them were just selfish. Right now, though, there is not an even um, give and take of energy in this connection. And they realize this. They don't, and they don't want that. I feel like the masculine is not giving, all right, with the 
Six of Pentacles being in reverse, clear, and then we also have the Four of Pentacles here. This is them really holding their energy back, holding on to their own assets, like not wanting to give to this at all. Let me get one more here. Okay, so we have the star in reverse, and we also have the two of pentacles in reverse. Knowing that this is a situation that th there is nothing to look forward to here, all right? That sun is what they deserve and where they want to be, but there is no hope in having that sun in this situation where it's just so difficult to manage. And again, I feel like something that they felt was so difficult to actually achieve in the past, they're not feeling like they can. Or it used to be that they felt, um, some of them at least, felt just doomed overall. Like they just can never be happy. So, well, then, you know, I may as well just stay here. And, you know, I made my bed. Now I have to sleep in it. Or just continuing to lie to themselves. Right now they're feeling very, very capable. It's a very interesting. All right, so let's um, clarify that. Especially, I especially want to clarify that tower, just that whole top row for their energy towards the feminines. No, 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 please, no. Okay. Can't you just sit here and just sit? He's like, nope, I'm a cat. I'm going to do what I want. All right, so let's clarify that top row. Two popped out, but I really feel like it. I was only meant to get one. So we have the Four of Swords in reverse. So there's a lot of restlessness here. The masculine is not being passive. There might be a withdrawal of their energy from you. It might feel that way. It might feel like they're detaching, but they are actually feeling very, very restless, all right? They're not feeling at peace at all when it comes to the situation with you. And this is why, um, like I said, they really want to avoid that tower falling between the two of you. Let's see what else. I feel like that is it. Let's get a few um, messages for the feminines, if this is resonating for you. All right, and we have adjacent possibilities. All right, let me get just a couple more. Okay, so we have adjacent possibilities, awakening, and commitment. Okay, interesting. We also have separation at the bottom of the deck, which I was called to look at. So, <laughs> also have the Queen of Wands at the top here, which was calling to me. So yeah, the feminine. I feel like you are really beginning to look at different possibilities here. Um, when it comes to your life, and as it relates to this connection, kind of like just finally allowing yourself to open other doors, whatever that might mean to you. Taking different paths, looking at the situation in a different way, possibly just really being able to look at it from afar and being able to see the situation more um, objectively, more clearly. And with this awakening card, it's like awakening to the fact that, you know what, I also don't need to be trapped in this. I don't need to stick around here. I want commitment. And so when it comes to commitment or just whatever, there's just new possibilities. There are different possibilities than just the one way that I thought that this needed to be in my life. So for some of you, yes, that could definitely mean that you are opening the door for other relationships. And for others of you, it could just be a different way of looking at how this commitment um, can play out. So I feel like the feminines are having a very deep understanding here of the situation that they are undergoing. 
And because of that, I feel like, yeah, for many of you, you know, we have that mute card. Um, as well as the communication. So I feel like there's definitely a shift in the way that you communicate possibly or in the way that you are choosing to interact with this situation. Okay, so let me just get a couple of tarot cards for you. <laughs> just had the world, there it is, come out. It was actually upright though. So yeah, I feel like you, you're you ready to just really end a chapter in your life. You want things to be different than what they have been. And I feel like you're feeling that. You're feeling like, you know, things really are different for you right now. Or you're ready to make things different. You're ready to put an end to something. You feel like you have learned a big lesson. Let's see what else. All right, so we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse and we have Justice. Yeah, so whatever path you were not taking before, whatever it is that you were um, refusing to learn before, I feel like you may have repeated a couple of cycles here. Just going in and out of a cycle that felt like, like it was the same, although it's never the same, you always repeat it um, from a different perspective with you know having a little bit more knowledge each time and a little bit more awareness. But whatever it is that was not learned here in the past, right, Page of Pentacles in reverse, now you have the world on the one side of it and justice on the other side. All right, so this is something that is definitely being completed. For a lot of you, you might be making a very big decision know that it is the right one. All right, if you are completing something, if you are deciding to put an end to a particular cycle, in other words, breaking a cycle or just ending the way, and ending a dynamic in the situation, that is a decision that is going to be for your highest good. All right, you are finding some kind of a balance. You are bringing things into balance for your own life. And this has to do with those adjacent um, possibilities. So this is actually a very positive reading, both for the masculine as well for the feminine. And I'm sorry about the card situation, but he's just too cute. So we'll forgive him. Yeah. Okay, so let's actually take a quick look as to what is coming up. And I feel like I might actually start doing more frequent readings, but just shorter ones to tap into more specific situations. So definitely let me know if you guys would be interested in that. All right, let's see what is coming up for the masculine in terms of the karmic situation next couple of weeks or so. Okay, so we have the, okay, it's a lot. We have the Six of Wands in reverse, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Cups in reverse, and the Nine of Cups in reverse. Okay, wow. Okay, so for those of them who might be, like I said, um, making another effort here or just deciding to give some a little bit more energy to this connection, all right, that is not going to be successful. That is the conclusion that they're going to come to. And I feel like they already know that. They already know. All right, they already know that something is just always going to be missing from that connection. It's just going to feel like it was unsuccessful. This is this is them really pulling back away, all right? The Knight of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Cups in reverse. This is, if they're needed to double check anything. This is like that confirmation here. This is that confirmation that this is not their happiness. Again, it's like the same message coming through. So I feel like it's not a lot that is changing um, within the next week or so, but it's more of seeing that, yeah, you know what? I'm hanging around here still. Nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna change. This situation, is what it is and it's not my nine of cups this is not where i feel like i want to give my affection i actually feel alone in this connection okay so those are the feelings actually because i feel like it is mostly feelings that are emerging um, in the next week and i 
feel like it is emotions that they've had before. It just feels like at the moment though, okay, with that material world, it's something that they feel they can actually take um, some practical steps towards resolving, okay, as I said before. So let's see for the feminines. I mostly feel like this message is for those of them who are still um, feeling like they need to resolve something, feeling like something needs to be... And it's not even that they need to prove it to themselves. I feel like it's more of a, like... Again, I feel like it's it's just some karma that needs to be resolved, but also it's a lesson here for them in the sense of understanding that I don't need to prove anything to anybody. What I have been feeling, that's what this is. I don't need to justify it. That's how this is coming through to me. So interesting we have the world which we also had for the feminine let's see what else all right the world the page of pentacles and then we have whoo, the nine of swords together with the seven of cups in reverse okay so wow Something is, whatever, whatever also needed to be learned when it comes to the cycles that may have been ongoing with the feminine, all right, this is something that is happening. This is what is coming up, all right, some lesson that needed to be learned with their feminine. And I do feel like that is directly um, influenced by whatever it is that the feminine has been doing. Okay, so whatever steps you have taken, like if you have set certain boundaries, which I feel like you, you have, this is what is helping the masculine to learn some kind of a lesson that they needed to learn from your connection specifically. All right, even if this is just energetic, that is actually throwing them into a space of anxiety with you, which I feel like they do need to feel because at the moment they're avoiding that tower, remember? But... Once they begin to see things clearly and that confusion starts clearing from their minds with that Seven of Cups, that is when they will begin to get a little bit um, stressed and anxious as to what it is that might happen between the two of you. Like, where is this heading? What does this mean for our connection? And so this is going to really unsettle them coming up in the near future. That anxiety is needed here to understand that, yeah, you know, um, this is real. All of it is real. Even the feminine walking away is real. It's all real. Okay, so let's get just a couple of oracle cards to close this out. All right, and we have co-create. So this is all about, yes, your influence on the masculine because you are both co-creating this situation and the energy between the two of you and what the future holds, right? It's all up to you. It's in your control and it is a co-creation of the both of you combined, all right? And not only that, it's also a co-creation of the divine. So your what you're doing is influencing the situation overall and i feel like this is actually very um it's very positive to know that yes you know what you do it does affect it does affect the situation first and foremost it has to do with your own life and you doing what is best for you awakening to adjacent possibilities and i feel like for a lot of you you know you've already done that you've done that a while now and others of you are awakening to that now. 
or to a different level of that now. <laughs> and I just got, I've never said this with, um, I've never said this for this card, but a message that just came through to me was some of you are really meant to co-create with your masculine in terms of actually having children. Like this is something that is on your path and it is something that your souls are um, trying to actually achieve. Wow. So I don't know, maybe some of you have been having some dreams or some signs. Um, about having children. Okay. All right, okay, so we have two here. We have the new moon in Pisces, meditate and contemplate, and we also have the new moon in Leo. Confidence is your key to success, okay? So this might even be a specific message for those of you who might be, um, you might have Pisces and Leo, okay, um, in your connection. It doesn't have to be, okay, just just an extra message there, all right? So I really feel like this meditate and contemplate, um, as well as the confidence is your key to success. I actually feel like these are both mostly for the masculines, all right, that they are doing a lot of contemplating at the moment, but I also feel like this one is for the feminine. For the masculine, this is what I've been talking about, all right? The confidence that they have been feeling. This is that confirmation here of the confidence that they are feeling when it comes to what it is that they can do in the material world. And I actually, actually, I'm also getting now that this is for the feminines as well. All right, be confident in your choices. Be confident in your decisions because they are the right ones, okay? Trust your intuition. Don't, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. And if you feel like you need to meditate, do so. Don't ignore that urge if you've been feeling it. All right, guys. Those were the messages for this reading. Um, I will try to do the next one on Tuesday. 